What's going on everybody? James Largo, The Cichlid Shack, thecichlidshack.com. Uh, we are here to do another shipment and inventory walkthrough as we got another two shipments or 30 plus boxes of fish in again this week. Uh, I did post a list of stuff that we got on Instagram and Facebook, but for those of you who like our visual people and like to see what came in, uh, we're going to do this here video. Uh, up front here in our little 20 gallon we refilled it with lots of um, nice shrimp uh, Bloody Mary's blue velvets orange crystals and yellow crystals um, these are not on the website uh, I didn't list them it's more for uh, like locals but if anybody's interested uh, we do have them uh, the front tanks got their water changes like always this Saturday. Um, uh, my dopey rear end, every time a customer comes in, I'll leave the water running and go back to help the customer. And uh, I overflowed not only this one, but this one as well. So, you know, the floor's nice and clean today because it got flooded twice and then mopped twice. Uh, so that's, I guess, a good thing, right? Uh, my wild caught Lincecromus. Monster, uh, acute set Malawi Gar. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see how big he really is, but what a stud. The white lips doing their thing. Got hundreds of fry out of them right now. Alrighty, on to the stuff you're here to see. Uh, in here are the Du Boises you guys have been seeing. Uh, down to about four of the two inch and four of the uh, larger males. But fresh in last night are um, firecrackers. Uh, that's what I, uh, the nickname I know for them. They're listed under their technical name on the website. Uh, but everybody that I know calls these firecrackers. They're like the deep, rich, burgundy, red trophies. And these are more like two and a half, three inch. They're a little bigger than the Du Boises. Uh, lots and lots of. Uh, Clown loaches at about three inches, uh, very healthy, uh, schooling, eating, uh, doing their thing. Uh, three inch albino long fin bristlenose and the electric blue German rams and the gold rams. Honda Millenear eyes uh, listed at three inch plus but obviously bigger, all males. One of the monstrous wild caught Placos we got. Um, this is a wild caught L128 Blue Phantoms. Uh, six inch plus easy. Uh, and I have four of them. And they are wild caught L128s. Also in this tank are the zebra loaches, uh, moonlight garamis, and the dwarf garamis. Down here, um, fresh in last night, are the fire fin compressiceps, uh, the Gelidiochromis malariae, and shoot, I forgot to write the name down on these, uh, but they are added to the website. Uh, hold on, let me go grab them so we know what they are. Just give me one second. Oh, let's see here. I'll let you guys look at the show tank while I check the name of this really quick. Uh, Tiger Nasitas, F1 Tiger Nasita, Nasota. Not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, they are on the website so you guys can look at them. Uh, they are uh, F1s from Wild Caught. Uh, it's a feather fin. So we have fire fin comps. Uh, Gelidia chromis malariae and the feather fin that I just spoke of. Uh, the feather fins are about two inch, maybe a little bigger. Macoby Island Nairian eyes, uh, different color variation, uh, different collection point. Again, listed at three inch plus, but clearly bigger. And then I have a, a one that's like four and a half inch, probably. A nice big, big guy. Uh, one of my super reds. Uh, the Kanzu loaches. I have a lone Senegal Bicher and the Hognose Cats. 
That tank is empty right now. Oh, black ghost knives who were all hiding underneath. Um, very, very nice. Good four inch plus. As well as Rosaline Sharks at about two and a half inch. Uh, Odessa Barbs and Cherry Barbs. Uh, have some very nice Turkish remaining still. Uh, the albinos are spoken for. Uh, here are the fancy goldfish. Uh, Calico Ryukins and Black Moors at about the three inch size. These calicos are really, really nice. Black Moors as well. Oh, the Bucktooth Tetras. Uh, five of these are already gone to a local. Uh, I still have 10 of them left. They are a really good size. Uh, over three inch, I would say. Uh, they're settling in nicely, eating like pigs. Uh, the only thing I did leave in there is a super red and they don't seem to be bothering him. Exodon Paradoxus, I guess. The Bucktooth Tetra. I'm probably butchering that. Oh, the Spotted Congo Puffers. Uh, female. Uh, and there's a male over here. As well as the Red Endlers are now in here. And the... Um, Peacock gudgeons who are starting to show some pretty good color. Chomping on some Viber Bites. Here are the Gulper cats. Like I said, very good size. Uh, one of them has already eaten one of the uh, females that I put in here. You can see the fat one right there with a big old full belly. Uh, the other two are eating pellet food. They haven't uh, chased down a fish yet. Uh, these are, just so you know, in-house bred extra uh, females. Big old fat belly on that gulper. These are a good four inch, uh, probably a little bigger. Oh, all the fry rice, uh, some Taiwan reefs growing out. There's a nice coloring up fry rice. Oh, these new lights. Uh, a pain in my rear end and a blessing for you guys. Uh, as I suspected, the other lights made algae grow on the top and the middle tank, so these are really making the algae grow on all three rows of tanks now. Um, so I spent the last hour and a half scrubbing all of these tanks. Uh, I'll spend tomorrow doing the next row and the row after that, and it'll be a continuous thing, even. In the tanks I have Placos in, they're still, they just can't keep up because the lights are so uh, bright, I guess. And plus I, they have to be on a lot of hours of the day. Uh, this tank in Gar Flame Tails, four inch plus. Uh, I have lots of females as well. Uh, lots and lots of German Reds. Looking very nice. Females as well. Red Top Lawanda, trying to catch that stud right there before he moves. But there is a bunch of them in here. Lots of females as well. By colors. And I know these lights are helping with you guys seeing these guys because I can see them on the screen a whole lot better as well. Uh, big, beautiful 5 inch plus by colors. Dragon Bloods and Blue Dragon Bloods. Uh, the Blue Dragon Bloods, there's less of them. Same with the regular Dragon Bloods. They got hit pretty good today. Uh, there's another nice blue one and a regular in this corner. Uh, let me get this ladder out of my way. At the Waney Peacocks, and you can see the the female would get out of the way. You can see the males uh, coloring up, have colored up very, very nicely. This one, I think, being the most of the dominant ones, but they're all showing good color. Uh, we have lots of females as well. Uh, fresh in uh, yesterday, whole bunch of flavescence, um, four inch range. Uh, very, very nice black dorsals, settling in nicely. 
Uh, do have some females on those as well. Uh, the ever gleaming sunshines. Only males. Uh, all the females got snagged already. They didn't like that. But uh, sunshines are plenty. Malaria, Chidunga rocks, and Chalumbas. That dominant male that was in here, the big one, uh, was taken. But there, since he's out, a lot of these other ones are firing up, looking pretty nice. And the Chalumbas always look great. Back in stock, uh, green face Seleucis, four inch plus males, lots and lots of females. Where they all are. There you go. Kobu Regals, four inch. Lots of females in those as well. Fresh in yesterday. Uh, albino Eureka Reds, uh, anywhere from four inch to five inch. Uh, very, very nice coloration and fin on these guys. have a couple of females that came with them as well the dominant one is definitely that one in the back right there although this one's looking pretty good too midnight Husseris uh, looking much better in this tank than they used to in the one next to it uh, the lighting definitely helps with these guys lots of males multiple sizes lots of females more OBs Males, Skittles from Skittles, as well as uh, big five and a half, six inch males in yesterday. Multiple color variations. Have some nice, good sized females in here as well. It's one of Skittles Pearl OB, what I call pearls. And here's another big pearl. I list them on the website separate. I won't send them out if somebody orders a regular OB but it, I list them as, as pearls and if people um, choose those then I'll send these uh, otherwise I send you know the nice different colored ones I try and send the nicest looking one in the tank and the size that you pick and that goes for all the fish blue neons only females uh, they didn't make the trip uh, big Cornelii blue golds uh, the females again are spoken for going out this week to Canada on a special order. Uh, fresh in yesterday, a bunch more uh, Hans Beshi red shoulders. Very, very nice. Four inch. And we have a ton of red shoulder females. More in yesterday, these big monstrous albino sunshines. Uh, these guys are probably full size or close to it. Lots and lots of females. Somebody would like a breeding group of these, um, hit me up on the website. Uh, we'll get you hooked up. Still have some very nice uh, big Mbenji Regals. I think there's at least three of them left in there. Lemon Jakes in all sizes and from 2 inch unsexed to 4 inch plus. Females as well. Back in stock are big 4 inch plus Maylandies. Yes, the lighting helps with these because this tank used to be really dark. They're settling in nicely just getting here uh, yesterday. Uh, the Red Suns, uh, I sent that bigger one out, so now these other ones are finally uh, showing some good color. These are the three and a half to four inch guys. Uh, more in yesterday, uh, Blue Orchids, Candizi Blue Orchids. You can see their blazes very, very nicely. All the females are spoken for on a special order. Otter Points. Big four to five inch males, two inch unsexed, females, holding females. Eureka Reds, oh plenty. 
varying sizes as well. Cape McClears, and I have a few of the albino strawberries at uh, three to three and a quarter inch. Uh, you can see them. They're actually up here in the front. Uh, the Cape McClears are hiding in the back. Back in stock are the Bacto Surge sponges. Uh, my wholesaler was out for a while, uh, but they're back now for 150. The wild caught Dimitrochromus Kawingis, uh, big six inch plus males, and uh, four and a half to five inch F1 females. Red Empress. There's the dominant one in the tank. This is one of the Red Empress OBs that has the dormant OB gene. Uh, my Super Reds got raided. There is a few left coloring up in the backgrounds. Uh, this guy is really fired up, that one with the OB gene. Oh, Buco Spectabilis, anywhere from 4 to 5 inch, males, females, these are F1s. You can see even the little 4 inch guys, I can see color in them, in their faces and their anal fins. F1, compressive set, Malawi eye biters, there's the dominant male breeding with this female up here at the moment, but we do have lots of nice big males and females including very much holding females. Monstrous Taiwan Reefs. These guys are six inch easy. Uh, I believe I have them listed on the site at five inch plus. Uh, we have tons of females. Down here, and this tank may be a little dark because I have them covered. Uh, there are wild caught macrostomas and wild caught Uchillus. Um, I did list a few of the Uchillus, but I might hold the rest of them back uh, for a breeding group. I haven't decided yet. Uh, there's one of the Macrostomas. And the Uchillus. Big lips because these Uchillus are wild. Uh, so are the Macrostomas. So they're, the lips on the Uchillus are, if I could get them to sit still, are very big. Uh, my Kadango in-house Borley eyes, male starting to color up nicely there. Uh, Mylochromus anthemimus at about five inch. Uh, I have three VC tens remaining. Uh, two look female. They probably are all female. I'll have to change that on the site. Um, a big six inch Venustus, who is knocking up females in here. Uh, there's the holding one there, and there's another one back there. Blue dolphins, anywhere from three and a half to five inch. These quadrimaculatus looking outstanding. Really cool fish. Great fins and trim, and the color that you're on the body that you're accustomed to with the spots with the Borley and Copenachromis. Okay, and here are Protomelis herte, five inch plus, a five inch younger Venustus, and wild caught Buchachromis notitanius, uh, five to six inch, as well as wild caught females, two of which uh, have mouthfuls already. You can see the wild female there. Uh, one of the five inch plus males. There's one of the big six inch males. There is five protomelis herte males starting to show good color in here. Down here are the Jolla reefs and it looks like a female jumper from the albino sunshine tank behind them. Better in here than on the floor as, as I say. Lots of nice Jollos. In this tank, uh, the Madokas, the young Madoka White Lips from my group that is on a special order that uh, may become available again soon if they don't uh, take care of it soon. 
Uh, added to this tank are wild caught uh, Taiwan reefs. Uh, the males are four inch plus and I have three females. So I listed two males by themselves and then the group together uh, with a male and three females. Mr. Adam sees um, Mylochroma spilisticius that I formed a group of the remaining of. More fryer eye. Autopharynx ovatus, uh, big nice 5 inch plus males, 4 inch plus females, uh, some of which are holding, like that one. Back in stock, uh, big beautiful 5 inch to 6 inch tangerine tigers. <clears throat> uh, I think I have 5 4 inch plus females as well. These guys are always skittish for the first couple days after they get here. Uh, I still have <coughs> a wild caught um, Insignis or Spilinotus Tanzania. And then I have all of these uh, females and the ones that were bred in house, which I can start to see some males showing. The Bodzulus. Nicisichromus, I always butcher that one too, Bodzulu. Big five to six inch males, white blazes on their head, blue heads, blue bodies. <clears throat> and I have that group of the uh, giant haps remaining. And this tank, big beautiful Xerox, uh, star sapphires. I have Xerox everywhere from two and a half inch up to the five inch plus big boys. Star sapphires are about uh, three and a half inch to four inch. Uh, the Malawi barracudas. Lots of nice uh, barracudas including this big one that's still in here. Uh, very nice select blue fryer eyes and white knights uh, about the five inch range these are coming out of quarantine um, and will be I think one or two of them are spoken for but uh, I can't believe these big wild caught hawks are still available and I still have the nice uh, group where the five inch plus male is already showing color as well and there is holding females in here already uh, the Teleolethanops Prior Brutalis F1s some of these have gone but there's still a bunch of I mean they're getting to a really good size oh six to nine of the females that I had out of the tubs are spoken for but I did get a bunch of four inch <clears throat> F1s in. Uh, I can do my best to sex them, but uh, I can't guarantee them at this size. Um, if that's not cool, then uh, yeah, they can stay on the website and grow until I can. But I do see blue in the faces of a lot of them, so I'm pretty confident I can pick out at least uh, three or four males that I see. Uh, let's see, wild caught Buchachroma spectabilis, about five and a half to six inch, F1 Buchachromus notitanias at five inch plus, and I have these two big six inch wild caught males still in here. The F2 Buchachromus notitanias, uh, a lot of these went out, but there's still quite a few of them in here. Lots of Phoenix in the 150, and the Blue Panicues are in here. Uh, we got a bunch of wild caught uh, Blue Panicues. They're at about the four inch, maybe a little bigger range. Uh, their color doesn't show up very well in here because uh, of the way the background color is painted, but they're, they're a nice blue, that velvety blue already. Lethronaut Mubazi, looking very, very nice. Lots of nice three and a half to four inch males. The bleaker eye, which you can see, are settled in. 
they're so uh, tiny and cute because you're used to seeing these great big old bleaker eyes but when you come up to the tank and you see them all colored up and fired up and wanting to eat and they're tiny two and a half maybe three inch that's probably the biggest of them oh and Synodonis uh, Epturus I don't know how to pronounce that uh, but I did add them to the site there's three good size ones four inch or bigger oh the albino Taiwan reefs still have some nice nice good size males uh, still have a couple of nice uh, deep water hat males as well as uh, two females and I have females on the albinos too <clears throat> red to head top hose I know you guys can see that with the new lighting but see what the new lighting is doing see all the algae growth uh, but it also is helping you guys to see these finally I think and the great big green severums two of which it had paired off and they had laid a bunch of eggs on this sponge earlier in the week see why I said I can't believe these are still here look at the coloration in that guy on the red head turquoise severums and angelfish and wild caught demon geophagus uh, one of the big uh, the wild caught green phantoms is hiding in this corner right here I'll try and get you a better shot of one that's more out in the open um, I think there's another one down in that bottom Taiwan tank somewhere um, these are wild caught copodochromus species something blue <laughs> I forgot to write this on the tank too uh, there's a whole lot of them uh, I did find a, a, a photo on online of them so I posted it on there um, still trying to look up more information on these but there's a lot of them at three and a half to four inch uh, they're settling in nicely they're eating already uh, and they've gone through their first dose of medications so they're doing well uh, I will try and get some more information on these the blood red parrots some more green severums thread finicaras and the big red hooks and the black line pikes I think I have two of the black line pikes remaining one of the thread fins here's one of the pikes Blood red parrots have definitely gotten bigger and they're gleaming. In house bread. Here's some more of that algae growth. What can you do? I'll scrub it tomorrow. The electric blue Texas. Electric blue Acaras. The gold barred Severums. And I have two of the Tiger Oscars remaining. All the albinos uh, got raided. These Texas are very nice. Oh, have some of these nice big uh, Indiway fire haps still remaining. A nice big female. The two inch uh, local male tank. This dragon blood is a stud. Lots of goodies in here all in house bread down here the wild caught rostratus as well as wild caught buccachromus leptura yellows I got I think five or so maybe a few more wild caught males that are five to six inch and then I got a bunch of F1s that are about four inch maybe a little bigger uh, I can guarantee the sex on the wild caught males because they're showing color already. Uh, the four inchers, I can do my best. Wild caught Buccachromus leptura yellow or the Rhodesia yellow. My uh, wild caught Mylochromus latostriga group. All oh, the rainbows. 
sold a lot of these, but there's still a bunch of nice ones. Emerald greens, Kamakas, uh, Iranian reds, and Goida rivers. Those greens, really like those green ones. Look at the color on these guys, they're amazing with this lighting. These are F1 Malawi Hawks, uh, and it's a male heavy tank, uh, about three and a half to four inch. Eating like pigs, these guys. Uh, the angel tank, lots of, lots and lots of angels. More rainbows, yellows, millenniums, and Boli not Bolivians, um, Bosmanis. The lighting, you can really see the coloration in these uh, very nice looking rainbows. Oh, the discus, the discus, and I got in a whole bunch of nice, uh, good size neon tetras to go with the discus. And as you can see, they're more out in the open because of the neons. The special order wild caught gars. This is the tank where I really see the algae growth from the lighting. It's on the front panel uh, and on the back panel and it's uh, doing a number on my water change pipe. Uh, in this tank are the um, OB Filiborneis, the Marmalade Cats. I can see a few males showing some good color and <clears throat> the Demason I always look good. Lots of goodies in this tank, including fresh in yesterday. A uh, new batch of F1 Synodonis Multis. Gelidia Chromis Reganis Le Lupis. Uh, it's a weird mixture, folks, but because of how aggressive the Le Lupis are, uh, the Ambunas was a good fit. I tried to put other tangs in here and uh, the Lelupi would just murder him. Uh, the Mbuna mixture with the Synodonis and the Lelupi seemed to be working. There's one of the Raganis. Uh, white top Afras and Elongatus Chueris uh, in here. Uh, I can see males even though I have them listed as unsex. It's a very nice dominant white top Afra there. Synodonis are very active and eating already as well. Oh, down here I have um, blue filter up to these five inch plus guys. Uh, I have a few uh, male Kenyais as well as a few female Kenyais uh, that were brought in on a local. A couple of what I believe to be like yellow lab Kenyai hybrids that were also brought in. There's another one. And the albino tree wavasis, female, male. Sokolifies, white knights, rusties, yellow tail ACIs, lots of inbunas. Oh, Hera Afras, Red Top Hongis, Yellow Top Hongis, uh, yeah, and Electric Blue Mandangos. I believe there's a few Cobalts in here as well. Yellow Labs, uh, Manda Blue Dolphins, and I have a couple of the OB Zebras remaining. Oh, I forgot to show you guys some of them, uh, the big phantoms. There's a good shot of one right here. And there's another one in with my Milo group. Let me see if I can get them without freaking them out. Very nice wild caught green phantoms at four inch. Uh, and I believe I have one of the, you know, you can see a lot of algae growth on this tank as well from the new lighting. There's a really, good size blue phantom in here as well. Whoa. 
as well as uh, a couple of the Synodonis uh, cats are still in here. There's that blue phantom. Six inch easy, he's, he's, he's really good size. And I have four of them. And then there's, uh, I think there's a green phantom in this one too, yep. Uh, I believe I have five or six of the green phantoms and I have six or seven of the panicues. And then the um, albino long fin bristle nose and then my super reds and then L144s as well. Shot of the blue panicues, which I really wish would show up better, but with the painting not showing up very well. Alrighty, folks. We have a huge selection. All the tanks are very full of lots of nice, beautiful fish. Uh, the website has been fully updated at thecichlidshack.com. You can get in touch with me at jlargo20 at gmail.com or thecichlidshack at gmail.com with any questions. As always, please remember these are just stupid fish videos, folks. Don't take it and don't take it too seriously. Life's too short. As always, thank you for watching and supporting us. God bless.